Shalom, shalom. Call hello, yahweh, bashim, yahweh, shai. Have honesty and possible and elves great millstone who are well. Citation to the brethren on the four corners of the earth. Push the word, truth, and sincerity. This is Tyra from Great Millstone, Wisconsin. Um, you know, today I just wanted to do a really quick uh, video on something Apostle Gabar uh, and Apostle Ramlob said. You know, they were conversating on one of their, uh, they were actually conversating on Apostle Ramlob's video, uh, Blessed is the Man. And uh, Apostle Gabar, he said something about um, being tone deaf. And, you know, you can liken being tone deaf onto, you know, the uh, the guys who, who, you know, they hear the truth, but they can't understand it, you know. Or they don't like, you know, or they find some some excuse to, you know, not uh, follow through with the truth. Or, the, you know, so you have some people that don't hear, you know, the tone of the uh, music at all. Because you, know, you have some people that are uh, tone deaf or can't hear certain tones, you know. And um, you know, just like uh, certain uh, older older people can't hear very high-pitched tones, you know, there are, there are uh, high-pitched tones that um, only a dog, you know, only dogs and animals can hear, you know. And it's just like this truth. This truth is a, uh, is a specific tone that only the elect of the Most High, Yahabashim Yahweh Shai, can actually hear, you know, and understand and vibe to, you know. So without further ado, this is Matthew chapter 13, verse 18. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. When any one heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catch the way that which was sown in his heart. This is he which re which receives seed by the wayside. So this is the guy that heard the truth and, you know, he let something else distract him, whether it be uh, a disagreement in the, in the doctrine or whether, you know, whether it be somebody that, uh, that came up, you know, and uh, pulled him away by, you know, some type of foolishness, you know. He's a person that, that heard the tone of the truth, that heard the music, you know, and he didn't take to it right away, you know. He didn't vibe with it strong enough, so he was just, so he was pulled away. Verse 20, but he that received the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, and in none with joy receiveth it. All right, so this is guy, he said, oh, well, I like that. This is, this is new. This is something different. I like, you know, I like the drums. I like the, uh, I like the bass, you know, I like the, I like the piano, you know. Yet hath he not root in himself, but endureth for a while. But when tribulation and persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended, you know. So after a while, you know, that the song starts playing, you know, it starts, you know, he starts vibing to it. He might, you know, he might dance, you know, jig to it a little bit. And then when sad piano comes on, you know, or or some type of um type of uh, sad trumpet, you know, tenor trumpet, you know, he doesn't like it, you know. Because it's becoming too painful to his ears, you know. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't like the the uh, the way the tone change in the music, you know. It says, he also that receiveth seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word, and care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. So this is the guy that you know he hear he hears the word, he hears the music, you know, but it's one of those things where he doesn't want anyone to know that he's listening to this type of music, you know. Because whether his friends think it, you know, think it's weird or, or, you know, they're not open-minded enough or what, you know, or they only listen to one type specific type of music. You know, he doesn't want to, you know, uh, he doesn't want to uh, broadcast to the world that, hey, I'm listening to this new music. Like, I, you know, I like this. You know, I'm, I'm going to support whoever, whoever is uh, putting this out, you know. But he doesn't do that, man. He hides it, you know, and, and keeps it under, under a napkin, you know. The scripture said, um. A candle cannot be hid, you know, under a table, uh, roughly paraphrasing, you know, so, so that's a guy that's ashamed, man, he's ashamed for the word, man, and he's ashamed to hear the tone of the truth, it says, he, it says, uh, but he that receives seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, so this is the guy, he's, he's hearing the music, you know, he's vibing to it, you know, he start, he start dancing a little bit, you know, starts nodding his head, you know, now this is the guy that downloads the music on his computer. He goes all the way. He he might even buy the music on iTunes, you know. Which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth, you know. So now he's telling other people about it. Hey, hey, come listen to this. You know, you you heard this new music by such and such, you know, or you know, just like you know, brothers doing the truth, you know. Hey, come 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 watch this video. Have you ever seen seen something like this before? Have you ever heard you know the uh, the scriptures taught this way before, you know? Some a hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. You know. So you're gonna, so you have guys that are on fire, man, which essentially are gonna be the elect. You know, 
go well, we're all in that number, but the elect are going to be the ones that are going to go all the way, you know, with the truth, you know, and they're going to, they're going to vibe with the word, man. They're going to vibe with the tone of the tone of the song, you know, and eventually, you know, they're going to start adding their own additions to the song. It's in Matthew chapter eleven, verse sixteen. It says, "But whereunto I, shall I liken this generation? Is it like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced, and ye have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented?" You know, so that's what we're doing in the marketplace. You know, the the prophets of the Most High are in the marketplace. You know, uh, piping. You know, uh, playing a harmonica, playing you know trumpet. Uh, the uh, the saxophone, the piano, you know, playing all these different instruments, but they all fit together in one melody, you know. But you got people that walk past or people that hear it, and they don't like they don't like that tone, you know. They don't like uh, the music that's being played, whether it's too harsh, or you no, know, I think it's too uh, too demented, too demented, or too you know too evil sounding, like uh, music, you know, or like dramatic music in a scary movie, you know. Or you got some people that are just tone, strained tone deaf, you know, because they can't hear it. Not because, not because uh, they don't want to hear it, but because their spirit isn't on the same frequency as the music that we're playing. You know, they don't have the same, they're not hardwired to hear the same, to hear the same music, you know. And I wanted to go into this uh, definition of tone deaf, or tone deafness. It says tone deafness is a lack of relative pitch or the inability to distinguish between musical notes and between linguistic notes. You know? So it's it's a dis it's a matter of discernment, man. You know? It's a matter of discernment. So you got guys that, that you know, they, they see what's going on, you know. They think they hear you, but they can't discern whether this is good music or bad music. You know, they can't discern whether they can't discern the uh the notes you know, within the music or the pitches, you know, they can't discern what's truth and what's not true, they can't discern um, what's, you know, uh, what's, uh, what their emotions are saying to whether they're, you know, what logic is saying, you know, it says that is not due to the lack of musical training or education, so it's not due to the lack of, oh, you know, this guy doesn't, he doesn't understand because he doesn't know the Bible, this guy doesn't understand because he doesn't understand, uh, he doesn't understand World War Three, or he doesn't understand, you know, um, the events leading to World War Three, or he doesn't understand history. No, it has nothing to do with that. It says tone deafness is a congenital form of amusia. It is also known as tone deafness, tin ear, uh, dismount, dysmelodia, and dysmusia. So it's an actual condition, you know. So it's an actual condition that the, that the Lord put out there for you not to hear certain tones. And it's like now it's an actual condition. Or a uh, or a disease, so to speak, you know that the Lord has thrown, you know, on certain brothers' spirits or certain you know, people's spirits, two thirds of our nation actually, that they can't hear, you know, the uh, the truth. I'm gonna read from the description. It says the ability to hear and, rep and reproduce relative pitch, as with other musical abilities, is present in all societies and in most humans. Tone deafness appears to be genetically influenced, although it can also be a result from brain damage. You know. So they can't hear this tone because they're actually brain damaged, man. There's something in their brain that that doesn't click, you know, when they hear it. You know, their pineal gland is calcified. That's what's wrong with their brains. It says, it says, someone who is unable to reproduce pitches because of a lack of musical training would not be considered tone deaf in a medical sense. Tone deafness affects the ability to hear relative pitch changes produced by a musical instrument, you know. So they, so they, they have tone deafness, which is an actual disability man you know you have spiritual tone deafness you know which then they don't have the ability to to, to uh, hear the relative pitches man you know so when so going back to the guy in Matthew 13 who uh, got offended you know because of the word is because he um is because he heard certain uh, heard certain pitches and he couldn't understand the uh, the changes in the tone. He couldn't understand, you know, the um, the bitter part of the truth. You know, he couldn't understand where it switched from, where it switched from um, sweet to bitter. So he just rejected it right out. You know, or you got guys that just don't like it in general. You know, and they they think that the music is going the wrong way, and they like they want to stick on a certain frequency. 
But that's not how the truth works, man. The truth is all, all is also always evolving, you know. This is First Thessalonians chapter two, verse thirteen. Because when you hear, you know, when you hear the truth or when you hear uh, certain melodies, you know, you start you start to buy what you start actually, you know, liking it. It becomes a part of you, you know. It becomes you know a part of uh, you know, your routine. <clears throat> Rocky, I'm kind of kind of under the weather. It says, for this cause also thank we the Most High without ceasing, because when ye received the word of the Most High, which ye heard of us, ye received it, not as the word of men. You know, so when they heard the truth, when they heard this specific tone, they didn't hear it as, oh, this is just a guy, this is just a guy playing an instrument. No, they, they heard it for the music that it was, and they liked the music, you know, they liked the message, you know, as in the truth, but as it is in truth. The word of the Most High, which effectually worketh also in you that believe, you know. So when you hear certain music, you know your 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 uh your gene in your genetic makeup or in your you know your DNA or in your brain, you're already hardwired to like certain music or to like certain things, you know. Just like in the truth, the elect is hardwired, you know, within their DNA to believe, you know, as soon as they hear it, you know, it's like a beautiful song that they heard, you know. And, and, you know, as soon as they hear the word, they believe, man, they have faith, you know, because the scriptures say, when you read uh, Romans 10 and 17, so then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High, you know. So that's how you, that's how the, you know, the elect were uh, joined, you know, together by faith. They heard the word, man, you know, and a lot of these guys out here, they, they're they not going to uh, acquire the, the proper faith because they can't hear the word, you know. They can't, they're tone deaf. They can't hear certain uh, pitches, you know. So this is a high-pitched tone that only the elect, you know, can hear and understand, you know. So it says, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Most High, you know. And when we go back to First Thessalonians 2, you know, it says, but all, which effect, effectually worketh also in you that believe, you know. So, the truth already worketh, you know, in the elect, you know. The truth always already works, you know, in the men of the Lord because it's already there. So for us to hear this uh, high-pitched tone, which is the truth, you know, we already have to be uh, hardwired or, or able, you know, to receive, to receive, you know, uh, these high pitches, you know. Because uh, when you read at the end, you know, in the book of Revelation, the elect, you know, they heard. They heard the song and they started singing it, man. It's Revelation chapter 14, verse 1. It says, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts, and the elders. And no man can learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand. You know, that tells you right there, man. Nobody's going to understand the truth. Nobody's going to hear the song. Nobody's going to uh, want to vibe, you know, to the certain tones and melodies of the truth, man, except for the elect, you know. So when you go back to this Matthew 11, and it says, We have piped unto you, but you have not danced. That's because they are essentially tone deaf, you know. They honestly can't hear the word because they're not meant to, you know. You know, uh, bringing out, you know, the the whole thing about the tone deafness in the music. It's just another fancy way of saying they're not going to hear the truth, man. You know, as the world comes close to an end, the more and more this door that, you know, we have, that is called the Yahweh Shai closes, man. You know? And more and more people will reject the truth, which is a good thing. You know, don't ever think it's not, you know. Uh, younger brothers in the truth, man. Just because, you know, you see guys walking past and you see, uh, you know, uh, guys coughing and things like that does not mean that this is not the truth. You know, don't ever let that, um, don't ever let that sway you, you know. You know, uh, Paul, when he wrote to the, um, to the Thessalonians, he said, I, he said, I beseech you, brethren, that you be not soon, uh, soon, um, shaken in mind, you know. Because gonna, there are gonna come times where, you know, your faith is gonna be tested, and being out on the highways and byways is no easy task, you know, your faith is tested every day, you know. You know, Satan enters your mind, and he, you know, he makes you. Uh, talk to yourself <laughs> in your voice, and 
he makes you think that you're questioning the truth, you know. He makes you think, well, is this worth it? You know, is uh, nobody's listening, you know. I'm just talking to nobody, you know. Why are, why am I doing this if I, if, I, if I can't teach anybody or I can't, you know, if I'm not talking to anyone? But the reason being is because we were commanded to go out and prophesy to the wind if we have to, you know. But the reason being why nobody is listening is because they are tone deaf, you know. Their spirit cannot actually pick up this frequency, you know. And I want to go back to Revelation 14 and, and 3. It says, and no man can learn that song with 144,000, which were redeemed from the earth. You know, so they're the only, <laughs> so the elect are the only ones that are going to know the song, period, you know. They're the only ones that are going to get the truth. Um, everybody else on this planet, certain death, you know, especially two-thirds of our people. It says, these are they which were not defiled with women, you know. So these are they that, that haven't uh, haven't taken uh, any other forms of music, man, like I was saying earlier, you know. We listen to, you know, the elect, they listen to uh, the music of the Most High, which is, you know, which is essentially harp music, you know, um, you know. You know, some type of string, this could be, you know, some type of string instrument, you know, some type of harp, violin, uh, uh, some type of bass, guitar, but the other, other women are those other forms of music, pop music, uh, hip hop, um, you know, uh, country music, all those, you know, all the, all the music that mainstream, uh, that are mainstream, you know, that everybody listens to on a, on a, on a, <laughs> on a minutely basis, you know, it says these are they that which are not defiled with women. Which also, you know, this is other philosophy, but I'm just liking it to uh, music for right now. For they are virgins, they are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruit unto the Most High and to the Lamb. So we, you know, so I can, I keep saying we, but, you know, uh, the scriptures say, you know, have confidence that, you know, have confidence that, uh, that we teach the word boldly. So, hey, um, <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't wonder if I'm going off. <laughs> But, um, you know, the, these were they that were redeemed among men, man. That were the first fruits unto the Most High. So they were hardwired from the beginning to understand this song and to, and to sing it from the beginning, you know. You know, and Great Millstone is teaching the, uh, or is uh, playing the right song, man. Whether you like it, believe it, or understand it or not. So with that, this has been another video. I want to give Call Hall Law Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The mind the apostle of the great millstone. Shalom to the brethren on the four corners of the earth, pushing the word, truth, and in sincerity. Shalom.